On this date in 1976, two American soldiers guarding the inter-Korean border were axed to death while trimming a tree inside the DMZ. To honor them, a memorial ceremony was held at the Joint Security Area. Pei Eun-ji has the full story. On August 18, 1976, two American soldiers from the United Nations Command, Captain Arthur Bonifest and First Lieutenant Mark Barrett, were dispatched to the DMZ to trim a poplar tree that was blocking the view from a watchtower near the Bridge of No Return. Soon after they started, North Korean soldiers ordered them to stop, and when the Americans refused, they were attacked with axes. They were killed, and the attack also left four other U.S. soldiers and four South Korean service members injured. What was originally a simple task almost sparked a second war on the Korean Peninsula. The U.S. launched a massive military operation a few days after the attack that involved hundreds of troops, B-52 bombers, fighter jets, and an aircraft carrier. To honor the fallen heroes, the annual memorial service was held on Thursday at the Joint Security Area, or Panmunjom, within the demilitarized zone that separates the two Koreas. Retired Major Kim Moon-hwan, the former Korean augmentation to the U.S. Army, who was present at the time of the attack and was a good friend of Boniface, said he remembers the incident like it was just yesterday. I saw Captain Boniface lay down on the ground and took him in a jeep for evacuation. But severe injury made him to pass away in my arms in DMZ. Lieutenant Bell was found in swamp later on, but could not be saved because of injury. Kim was injured too by the brutal attack. I was beaten in the face, and when I looked up, I saw an axe handle coming down to me, and I blocked that with my left arm. The U.S. commander of the 2nd Infantry Division, David Lesperance, who was also at the event, said North Korea still continues to develop capabilities that threaten not only South Korea, but regional allies and partners of the U.S. Like them, we must strengthen our ironclad commitment to security on the Korean Peninsula, which has endured for 72 years, and never take it for granted. During the ceremony, South Korean and U.S. service members laid flowers at the site where the poplar tree once stood and paid their respects to the victims. Pei Eun-ji, Arirang News, Panmunjom.